Capital Market Instruments. In this session, we will one by one understand all the capital market instruments, some of them you already know from the previous chapters, but then the list goes on. So, starting with the first one, bonds and debt securities well. We have pretty much understood it. It's like a reverse loan, which you give to a company or a government for their projects and operations and for which you receive a monthly payment. Now, with different bonds, the payment intervals may vary from monthly to quarterly to even every six months. It is totally up to you to hold or sell the bond in the secondary market. In fact, United States bonds are considered one of the safest investments, although the returns are low. Moving on, the next ones on the list are Derivatives Derivatives are contract-based instruments that derive their value from the underlying assets. Now, these assets can be anything from currency, bonds, stocks, commodities, etc. Its value fluctuates with market dynamics and impacting factors. If you or any investor is investing in derivatives, it could be majorly because of price speculation and prediction and protection against volatility. That's how simple it is. The next ones on the list are commodities or exchange traded funds. We believe that we have already covered exchange traded funds. So let's focus on commodities now. Commodity trading takes place in the commodity market. And here, by commodity, we mean physical goods such as barley, oil, gold, silver, wheat, copper, and even electricity. The history of commodity trading goes back to the barter system, and today com, commodity trading requires extra cost, and there are generally two types of commodities, hard and soft commodities. On the one hand, hard commodities refer to rubber, copper, silver, oil, gold, etc. Soft commodities include corn, barley, wheat, rice, sugar, pork, tea, coffee, and so on. Moving on, we have stocks and equities come on now, guys. We got this covered already, which brings us to the next financial instrument on our list, and that is treasury bills again. Treasury bills are another form of short-term debt securities because it has a maturity period of less than one year, and it technically operates like a bond. So, guys, we have it covered. Next are cash instruments. These are assets that can be traded in capital markets in the form of packaged capital. Again, we know some of its best examples, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, derivatives, and so on. Moving on, we have Certificate of Deposit Banks issue these certificates and require an investor to lock in funds for high returns. These certificates can be sold in the secondary market, but there are several types of it. To start with, there are traditional certificate of deposit these come with a fixed interest rate and strict penalties on early withdrawals you can simply assume these to be fixed deposits another one is a bump up certificate of deposit in such certificates of deposits the interest rates hike after buying them and offer an option to raise the interest rate as an investor you may observe that these certificates of deposit provide less interest compared to standard certificates of deposit. The next on the list of certificates of deposits is the step-up certificate of deposits, which is pretty much identical to bump-up certificates of deposits. Still, in these instruments, you will not need to ask the bank for an increase in interest rates. The next certificate of deposit is the brokered certificate of deposit. Such certificates are acquired from brokerage accounts. They can be any bank or a financial institution or entity. These certificates of deposit have better interest rates but come with high risk. And yes, they can be traded in the secondary market. The last one is the liquid or no penalty certificate of deposit. This type of certificate of deposit lets you withdraw your money during the tenure. As the name suggests, it does not impose any form of withdrawal penalty and is flexible. We are back on our main list of the capital market instruments. 
So the next financial instrument is preference shares, NIA. We covered it too. So the next financial instrument is mutual funds. Mutual funds are again, a pool of securities that investors invest in regular intervals, like a systematic investment plan for retirement and short-term goals. The only tip we can give you is to properly compare all the mutual funds before making your investments and check out all the parameters. We know you must be thinking there are so many financial instruments, but that also speaks about the wide scope of investments that you can make, right? So, next one on our list is commercial paper. These are, again, short term debt instruments, but in the form of promissory notes issued by investment banks and corporations and signify a continuous source of funding. Debentures, yup, covered it. Among all these, we have saved the best ones for the last. Yes, because it's time for currency. Currency now, when we speak about currency instruments, we would first like to talk about foreign currency exchange, which itself is a major component of the capital markets. The currency market is also called F-O-R-E-X, and the whole trading occurs between two currencies forming a pair. So yes, the exchange rate is based on the currency pair acting against each other's value to derive their value. It's time to call Jennifer back. Suppose Jennifer, who lives in New York, visits London in the United Kingdom now. Sadly, Jennifer cannot spend her American dollars in London because obviously it is invalid there. What does Jennifer do? Now, suppose the exchange rate between euros and US dollars is $1.2 for every dollar. Jennifer has to spend 12 US dollars to buy an item worth 10 euros. But if the exchange rate changes, and now $12 are worth 1 euro, Jennifer has to spend 20 US dollars to purchase 10 euros. Why do you ask? Simple, because the value of the US dollar is less than the euro. Well, that's a sad vacation for Jennifer. The currency market is subdivided into three categories. The spot market, where the exchange rates are real time and settle in two days. The next category is the forward market, where the parties agree to settle the amount on a future specific date. And lastly, the futures market, unlike the forward market, is also predetermined and undergoes public trading. And that's a wrap. No, not of the course, but of this chapter, clearly, we have covered all the important capital market instruments. Without further delay, let's move on to the next video and which is the securities market and its market participants.